I take a look at the Seiko Monster Dracula or Bloody Tooth Monster today. This is the SRP313, and this is the K model, so it's a Malaysia made. It's not the Japanese made one. N absolutely nothing wrong with buying the K model ones. I actually prefer them. I think the there's basically no difference, and in many cases I've seen the K models maybe a touch better in quality, which is weird, maybe backwards from what everyone's experiencing. But when it comes to the monsters, trust me on it, I've owned enough of them to know. So on this one, you have the uh, indices outlined in that red. And if you look really close, they did a phenomenal job on it. For for how much this watch, they're, I mean, they're all, all the monster prices are going up now. This is... December of 2016, but for the longest time, this watch, this particular model, could be had for $200, which was the best deal in the Monster, and that was with the bracelet. This is an old bracelet I had laying around. It's already all scratched up. This one um, did not come with the bracelet. I just threw one on there, and it has the 4R36 movement, so it's the winding, hacking, has the day date, um, keeps great time. It has the all metal bezel, you know, and it has the monster name, which, you know, if it, I don't know if it's for the teeth. Yeah, uh, it can't be for the teeth though, because the first ones they named them for the monster and it didn't have the teeth. So I don't know if it's because of the size or just the way it looks, but these things maybe look bigger than they are. They're really not that big. You guys got to look at these sizes. It's not very thick, 12 millimeter. 42 and a half millimeter. This is a totally wearable watch. I mean, everyone with even the smaller wrist, all my friends with the uh, smaller wrist, they pull these off. I mean, you're talking 47 mil lug to lug. It has the really short lugs. It has the 20 mil. Um, so, you, I mean, you can do a 20 millimeter bracelet on this. There's a bunch of options. Or I've done in the past where I've bought a 22 mil and just milled off. A little bit on each side of it so it still has that overlap on each side so it looks kind of nice you know but it has the knurling on the crown there no no signing on the crown but it has the knurling so the grip is really good it has a nice case back solid end links the bracelet on these are really nice the clasp is still kind of cheap um, but I mean once it's on you don't you don't notice that stuff um, I wear a monster every day it's my go-to watch and I've had a couple of these and um, they're just this is a great model I think it's uh, a nice alternative it instead of going with the the black with all the white indices and the white hands this one just pops a little bit more and if you want to get creative I actually built this one for my son as a gift and uh, cased it in a black one I took so I took the SRP 313 guts and I put it in an all black monster um, I don't know what whatever the name wants to be now but that I think Seiko could have easily made this model too I think that looks great and then this one actually the day that he got it I had it on a rubber strap and the the pins failed on it and when he was playing basketball see that there on a downward motion, and he's 16, on a downward motion playing basketball, flinging his arm down as hard as he could, that's when the watch band failed. And this came off, and this hit with whatever velocity that a 16-year-old can fling off his wrist down to my paved driveway and hit there. And this thing still keeps decent time. It's a little off now. We have to adjust it once in a while. I'm going to probably go, to go through and regulate it or possibly change the movement. But this thing still works, and that amazes me. So these things are crazy robust. Um, there's a couple other things that it messed up on it, but he still loves this watch. He wears it every day, and it is a tank, and it's unique. I've never seen another one like this. So, you know, that, and that's a simple mod. You buy it, the all-black monster. You buy the SRP313, SRP swap it out. It takes two minutes 
pull the case back, swap out the guts, throw it back in. You got something different. That's awesome. So, but back to the 313. If you can find these still on eBay or Amazon, I, I think they're going up on Amazon, but if you can find these on eBay or even um, Long Island Watches, when they get them in stock, he's just over like 240 maybe, 239. You guys got to buy these up. I, I just have this weird feeling that monsters are kind of going away, and this is a crazy amount of watch for the money. Like, if you have to have one of these in your collection. And I know there's people that hate them, but if you're on the fence for whatever reason and you don't hate it, I mean, even when I first bought my first one, and I have the orange one that I wear every day, I didn't necessarily like it 100% at first. And then I started wearing it, and it grew on me to the point where that's pretty much the... I could get rid of all my other watches, and I'll always have my orange monster. And I'm actually going back to where I'm buying a few more monsters. And I sold off all the extra ones I had. But now I'm selling off some of my uh, quote higher end pieces to repurchase some of my monsters. So huge, huge fan of this watch. I think this is a big time value driven watch. But you have to buy them now because I think they're going away. So this is the SRP 313 bezel action. It's 120 click. Um, and these vary from watch to watch. This is not the best one I felt. I think the orange one that I wear every day is probably the best one I felt. It sounds way better and clicks way better. Uh, let me shut off these lights and see if I can give you a loom shot. That's what everyone wants to see. I don't know how well this will work. Gotta kill that light too. Let's see. You can already see a glow in there. You can see the one glowing in the background even. That's just with a quick charge with a flashlight. If I go completely dark in here, I mean, the, these Seiko monsters just glow and glow. The only watch I've had that glows better than these is probably a Seiko SBBN Tuna that I had. And if Seiko used that loom in every watch, that would be just a nightmare for all the other watch manufacturers because that one glows insane bright. And then this one's right behind it. So definitely check these out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments.